Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and hi boys and girls. With me, Cikgu Azrini. We are still in a unit for humans. So uh, today we are going to learn the use of human senses. This is our learning objective for today. The first one, identify object if one of the senses is not functioning. And then number two, state two tools that can help sensory organs when it is not functioning properly. Okay, dear kids, these are five senses that we have learned in our previous lesson. The first one, sense of a sight by using our I. Number two, sense of taste by using our tongue. Number three, sense of a smell. We use our nose. Number four, sense of hearing by using our ear. And then, number five, sense of a touch by using our skin. Now, let's look at this picture. Okay, this is durian. We can do observations by using all of our five senses. The first one. We can use our eyes to see the shape of this fruit. We can see that it is oval. And then their colors, they are green on the outside and this durian have yellow flesh. Okay, by using our nose, we know that durian has a very strong smell. We can taste the durian by using our tongue. The taste is sweet. And by using our ears, sense of hearing, this durian does not produce any sound. But we can hear the sound of durian falling from a tree. By using sense of touch, we can feel that this durian has a very sharp tone. Hi boys and girls, let's sing together. Ready? One, two, three. Eyes for a seeing, eyes for a seeing, nose for a smelling, nose for a smelling. Tongue is used for tasting, tongue is used for tasting. Ears for hearing, skin for touching. Okay, can you do that? One more time, okay? Get ready, kids. One, two, three. Eyes for seeing, eyes for seeing. Nose for smelling, nose for smelling. Tongue is used for tasting. Tongue is used for tasting, ears for hearing, skin for touching. Okay. okay, now let's look at your textbook, page 37. The use of human senses. Okay, maksudnya kegunaan deria manusia. So, let's look at this uh, picture. There is a power failure. Linda is unable to see in the dark. Okay, uh, bekalan elektrik terputus. Jadi, Linda tak dapat melihat dalam keadaan yang gelap. Okay, what happened? In this uh, dark situation, Linda want to look for her torch. She cannot use 
a sense of a sight because it is too dark. Okay, sebab gelap, jadi dia tak nampak. So, Linda can still use her sense of touch to look for a torch. Okay, Linda masih lagi boleh gunakan deria sentuhan untuk cari uh, lampu suluh. Okay, why doesn't Linda use other senses to look for the torch? Okay, this torch does not have any uh, sound. So, Linda cannot use sense of hearing. And then, this uh, torch also do not have any uh, smell. So, Linda cannot use the sense of smelling. She can only use her sense of touch to look for a touch. Okay, look at this uh, hot question. Okay, higher order thinking skill. How does Linda know that the object she touch is a touch? Ah, macam mana dia tahu objek yang dia pegang tu lampu suluh? Okay, she knew by the experience of a seeing and touching a torch. Okay, before this, Linda already know about the shape of the torch and the size of this torch. So, she can look for her torch in the dark situation by using sense of touch. Okay, now. You can refer your textbook, page 38. Let's test identifying object. Okay, this activity you can do at home. Okay, you can try with your siblings. You just need a blindfold and a box containing several objects. Ataupun boleh juga tutup mata dengan kain. Okay, close your eyes using the blindfold. Take an object from the box. Make an observation on the object. Guess and name the object. Okay, aktiviti ni perlukan awak tutup mata. Kemudian, ambil objek daripada dalam kotak ni dan cuba teka. Apa objek yang diambil. Okay, tanpa menggunakan deria penglihatan. So, the questions here. Number one. Which sense is not used in this activity? So, in this activity, we are not using the sense of sight. Ah, Kita tak gunakan deria penglihatan sebab mata kita ditutup. Number two, can you guess the objects correctly and why? Ah, maybe you can guess the objects correctly because... You can still use other senses. Okay, when a sense is not functioning properly, we can use other senses to help us to do observation. Okay, bila salah satu deria tidak berfungsi, kita masih lagi boleh gunakan deria yang lain untuk bantu kita. Okay, next. Tools that can help sensory organs when it is not functioning properly. Okay, alat yang boleh uh, bantu organ deria kita bila organ deria kita tidak berfungsi dengan baik. Okay, the first one. Spectacles. Okay, spectacles are used when the eyes are unable to see clearly. And then number two, a hearing aid can help the sense of hearing that does not function properly. Okay, let's look. So, the first one, this is uh, spectacles. Okay, it can help us. For example, if we have if we have a problem, okay, we cannot see a uh, distant object clearly. So, we can use this as spectacles. Okay, contohnya kita ada masalah uh, tak dapat melihat objek jauh dengan jelas. Uh, jadi kita boleh pakai cermin mata. Spectacles are used to see when the eyes are unable to see clearly. Okay, number two. This is a hearing aid. Okay, this hearing aid will help the sense of hearing 
that does not function properly. Okay, a hearing aid uh, is an electronic device designed to improve our hearing. Okay, the size is uh, small enough to wear in or behind your ear. They make some sounds louder. Okay, saiz dia kecil saja. Kita boleh pakai uh, di dalam ataupun di belakang telinga ni. Dia akan membantu untuk uh, membuatkan uh, bunyi lebih kuat dan juga jelas. Okay, now let's do your science activity book. Page 27 and 28. Okay, for page 27... Okay, use all senses. Color the boxes with the senses that can be used in the following uh, situations. Okay, you look here. There are two situations uh, here. The first one, okay, situation one. Okay, this boy in the dark, okay, in the same uh, situation as uh, Linda before. Okay, sama situasi macam Linda yang kita belajar tadi. Okay, bila dalam gelap, ah. Uh, Dia tak dapat gunakan sense of sight. Jadi, deria apa yang dia boleh guna? So, you need to color the box. You need to color the correct answer. What sense that this boy can use in this situation? Okay, number two. Situation two. I can't smell this food because I have a flu. Okay, this boy have flu. Okay, budak lelaki ni uh, sesama. Jadi, dia tak boleh bau makanan ni sebab dia sesama. So, what sense that he can use to help him taste the food? Ah, uh, Dari apa yang dia boleh guna untuk bantu dia rasa makanan? So, you need to color the correct sense. Okay, color the correct answer. Okay, try to do first and then you can check the answer. Okay, you can pause the video and play back when you want to check the answers. So, this is uh, the answer for number one. Okay, sense of touch. Because this boy cannot use the sense of sight in this dark situation. Okay, he also cannot use the sense of hearing because... This torchlight does not have any sound. He cannot use a sense of smell and he cannot use sense of taste. So the only sense that this boy can use is sense of touch. So you need to color this correct answer. Color the box. Okay, for number two, the correct answer is sense of taste. Okay, this boy cannot smell but he can taste the food. And then page 28, vision 8. Okay, Alia cannot see this stern object clearly. Her mother, Puan Fatima, takes her to an optometrist. Okay, optometrist ialah doctor mata. Okay, doctor, how's the condition of my daughter's eyes? Okay, number one. What is Alia's problem? Okay, apa masalah Alia? Ah, dah diberitahu dekat atas tadi, okay? We read just now. Alia cannot see distant objects clearly. Okay, number two. What is the sense that does not function well? Ah, jadi deria apa yang tak berfungsi dengan baik kat sini? Aha, sense of sight. Okay, number three. What kind of aids that can help to solve Alia's problem? Okay. Apa alai yang boleh Alia gunakan untuk bantu selesaikan masalah dia? Masalah dia tadi, dia tak boleh melihat objek jauh dengan jelas. So, Alia can wear spectacles. Okay, Alia boleh pakai cermin mata. Okay, that's all kids. Hope to see you again in our next lesson with more interesting topics. Okay, thank you.